Okay. So today I'd like to talk to you guys about my quote. It's from Andy from Shawshank Redemption, and it is, get busy living or get busy dying. Uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what I think it means to me to be living and what get being dying means and the importance of the two together. So in the movie Shawshank Redemption, Andy says this quote, get busy living or get busy dying. And what I think he means by get busy living is that a lot of people seem to be putting off living experiences and going out and do things because of like what they have going on. And when you do that, you're not really living. You're worrying about other things and you're getting caught up with uh, your own problems, I guess, at the time. Now, the second part of that quote, get busy dying, has to do with, uh, I think, like, People who procrastinate and kind of worry about things for extended periods of time, they're caught up with dying. They tend to worry and that worrying continues and goes on. And they're, pretty, they're not living and essentially dying. Like they're, they're just worrying about things for so long that they don't do anything. And that to me is what get busy dying means. Now, I think the quote together, all in and of itself, has to do with uh, balancing the two. You know, you could be worried about dying because you know, all of us are gonna die one day, but it's important to continue to remember that you need to live your life and you need to experience things, and uh, that's something that I wanna like, leave you guys with today is, you know, yes, you can worry about dying, but remember to live your life. Thank you. Well, you basically just start with the quote as your attention device. Your goal is to sort of define what the uh, quote means or what the ideas are. And there's sort of a structure because you're going to break it down by talking about the first part of the quote, the second part of the quote, and then try to put it together. So I guess that's an organizational structure, although it doesn't really uh, do much in the sense of creating uh, an argument. It's just kind of it's a place to stop along the way as you're talking about the subject. Uh, I didn't know, I, I'm not sure that anything that you said during the presentation was particularly clear. There's a lot of stuff in that it just sounds like you're, you've got a little bit of a platitude that you're saying and I don't get any examples or development. There's not any detail on any of these kinds of things. You just kind of circle around and offer a, a, a repeating definition on those points. So in the long run, I don't think you're really saying very much about the topic, and that's, I think, a little bit of a disappointment, although it is structured a little bit. The presentation, I think your pacing is a little bit off, but not bad. Um, your voice is reasonable, it's projecting well, and uh, you sound uh, okay. Your facial expressions are fine, but your eye contact's a little inconsistent, especially in the first part of the speech, you have a tendency to kind of look at the ceiling thinking about what it is that you're going to be talking about still instead of talking to us. You're a little bit better in the second half of the presentation, and so that's a good thing. Um, there are a few gestures and indicators while you're speaking. That's okay. Uh, sometimes you get fall into a little bit of a habit of kind of putting your hands together and, and gripping them a little bit, but it's, it's it wasn't too much. Uh, although if I was watching it and thinking about the two minutes that you're speaking, I'd, I'd, want, I'd start you know, breaking that. Well, how much time did he actually spend holding his own hand? And it might have felt a little bit like it was off there. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not sure that you've, the clearest uh, part of the speech was the best thing for you, and that's the exit line. You've got a clear exit line. You found a way to finish the speech, and I think that actually makes the point that you're trying to make in the presentation. So that should, I think, then your, uh, your purpose statement at the beginning, and then you can come back to it at the end, but at least you clarify what it is that we're supposed to be getting out of the presentation at the exit. Thank you. Lula, if you would, come get some topics.